Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. Uh, Sean brought <laughs> us this great Subaru Outback and she wanted everything you possibly have in this thing. So Sean, what <laughs> inspired you to just build and what did you want to have in this thing to make it easier for your camping? So I am going on like a six month climbing trip next year. Yep. So I wanted a lot of room to sleep uh, for me and my 80 pound dog. Yeah. I wanted a little kitchen, a slide out kitchen for yep. my stove and food and storage and stuff. I wanted a bunch of room for my climbing gear. Um, I wanted a fridge yep. and solar panels and batteries since I'm going to be off the grid for a while. And I also wanted a little cabinet to put my clothes yeah. um, and a place I could charge my laptop. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So this is stuff. what we came with. So far, the build is finished and it was a lot of work, but I think we made it all fit. So right here, a little lock on it, but we do have your slide out kitchen area like you wanted. She brought us the little Coleman stove, camper stove, and we made it fit right in there. You can pull the stove out, set it on top here. Go in there. <laughs> there you go. And you have your false tops. You have all kinds of cooking area here. Just in case that wasn't enough room, we had another drawer here, and she wanted a massive four-foot slide-out drawer so you could put all of our rock climbing gear in here. We have a couple of removable dividers just in case you had bigger things. And this can slide and land on the front section here in case you needed just a little bit more room, which is a ton of area to be cooking and prepping food and all that. And same thing, she wanted a fridge. So we got her a fridge. Nothing too crazy, but enough to be out there and not have to go pick up ice or anything like that. Slides back in. Make sure everything slides out just so you can access it a lot easier and stuff. You know, and both of us are not very tall, so it's a lot easier <laughs> to like have to not have to get back there and have it right at your hands. Um, so we try to make everything as accessible as possible. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> so she's pretty excited about this. It was actually her idea, and I loved it. So the problem was is there was a spare tire down here, but now it's mounted up on the roof next to the solar panel there. Because we we're gonna do this build, there was not gonna be any way to access the spare tire. So oh, she was like, hey, can't you put the battery down there? And it worked out perfectly. We got all the wiring down there, the fuse for the solar panel and the fuses for the 12 volt accessories. And why not just have a little bit extra storage down there for throwing some dog food or other things they might not get to very often, jumper cables or something. And it makes it quite easy to be able to get to the battery stuff as well. Have a nice little hinge right there so that'll stay open. All of it slides away pretty easily. Um, once again, a nice little area just to kind of fit everything. The solar charge controller, which is charged right now, the battery, a couple of USBs, and a switch to turn on the fridge. So over here, you want to explain your idea with your little <laughs> closet? <laughs> so I wanted a little closet to like put all of my clothes yep. and stuff so I didn't have to. Then I wanted it to be in the car so I didn't have to go out of my, like leave my car and yeah. go to the other side. Um, and so Brian built me a little cabinet. Yeah, so I mean, so she's gonna eventually put like a little foam mattress on top of here, she says. So once again, I wanna make everything accessible. So right here, this lifts up and could be all kinds of good stuff for, you know, extra food or clothes or anything that she could really fit in there, which is a lot. Nice little gas shock, goes back as far as possible. That shuts nice and easy. And then as we said, like if she puts her mattress on here, she can still access these cabinets that are on little magnetic catches. And there's the inverter for charging the laptop, a nice little shelf you can set it on. And pretty much just maximized all the space we could out of this thing. When she took out the back seats, I was able to get an extra little bit of room down there. You can shove some other little toiletries or pillows and stuff. And then you also wanted to put water, a little water tank or something oh, too, yeah. right? I'm gonna see how we did that. <laughs> Gotta have water, cooking, cleaning. So we decided this is a pretty good area to keep it vertical and to keep it from not walk, rocking around, it's in there pretty tight. And I made the cabinet on an angle here, as you can kind of see, so that you can lift it up and just whoop, lift it this way and just slide it out Easy. and put it back in. Because if you were to put it kind of horizontal or something like that, it could possibly leak or break and we don't want that. So, solar panel, she's ready to go. Hell yeah. When are you going? When are you leaving? Uh, probably not till like April. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> but, but I'm going to be going on trips. Yeah, there's a lot of testing and stuff. So, so yeah, I'm going to take it out July 4th. It'll work? Yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks for the business, Sean. And she seems pretty happy. 
all kinds of stuff she can do now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see some more videos and leave any comments or concerns or questions in the comments below and I will uh, reply to them. See you next time. Woo!